Hey everybody, welcome to Beer City Board Games. I'm Clay. Uh, this is take number two for us. <laughs> Apparently we didn't actually go live when we thought we went live. Um, today uh, I'm playing a game with my son Darren, uh, also known as Metal for Life on Hello. Twitch. Uh, and we're going to be playing Project Elite and uh, trying not to die. Um, Sweet. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Uh, we'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, this is a, a pretty tough co-op. Um, it's one of those things go from bad to worse to worse to worse to Sweet. worse. <laughs> this, this sounds amazing. <laughs> um, My kind of career. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the way the game is played, it's going to be played over eight rounds. Uh... And basically, we have three objectives on the board that we need to complete. Uh, we have to complete those by the end of the eighth round or else we lose. There are two other ways in which we can lose. Either one of us dies or one of the aliens makes it from their spawn point on one end of the board all the way to the lab entrance on the opposite side of the board. Um... We've I played this a couple times. Uh, lost twice, won once. So, There's hope. Yeah, there is hope. <laughs> There's hope. It can be done. Um, so uh, we've got a few decisions to make at the beginning of the game, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the rules explanation first, and then uh, we'll have a chance to make the decisions, and then we'll get started with actually playing the game itself. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get switched over to the top-down shot so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so up at the top of the board there, we've got our eight event cards. Uh, each one of those we will flip over at the be we'll flip one over at the beginning of the round, and um, <clears throat> it's going to have either an immediate effect, which will resolve. Immediately, obviously. It's going to have, or it'll be an ongoing effect, which will have uh, certain uh, dice slots that we will need to fill in in order to get rid of it. And until we get rid of it, that effect will be ongoing. Or it's going to have no effect, uh, which I don't think there, we're playing on medium. Uh, so the odds of. There, there aren't very many no-effect cards in here right now. Um, most of these cards are going to do something bad. Um, so yeah, that's, a, that's our first step. Second step will be the alien spawning phase. So during the alien spawn phase, we're going to flip over a number of uh, swarm spawn cards over here, uh, which look like this and these cards are going to have uh, they're going to tell us what type of hey Titan what's up <laughs> uh, these cards are going to have a type of alien on them it's going to tell us how many uh, how many of the aliens spawn where they're going to spawn and whether or not they activate immediately We're going to shuffle that back in here. How's it going, Titan? You, uh, did you get everything switched over to stream elements? I feel like I'm hanging off the edge of the camera. I again. feel like you kind of are, yeah. Um... <clears throat> So we're going to flip over a number of alien spawn cards equal to the number of players. So we'll flip over two in this game. And then we're going to also flip over a boss spawn card. That boss spawn card is either going to tell us that one of these big red boss miniatures uh, over on D's side are going to come onto the board. Or it'll say that it's all clear and nothing happens. Uh, going good, just got off work. Oh, man, you had to work today? That's rough. 
Uh, Darren had to work today. Yeah. Also, uh, Jen and I had the day off, so that was kind of nice. I got out early, though, which was nice. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's the alien swarm phase. Then we've got the action phase, and this is kind of the, f the, the meat of the game um, where we're going to be rolling these dice. So basically we're going to have a two-minute timer, and we're going to start the two-minute timer and start rolling these dice as fast as we can. These dice are going to have uh, different symbols on them that are going to allow us to do different types of things. Uh, let's see. So what we've got, we've got a wrench, which is going to be mostly like mechanical type stuff. We've got the arrows, which is movement. We've got the gun, which is shooting. We've got the magnifying glass, which is searching. We've got the little hand symbol, which is usually like technology type stuff. And then we've got alien movement, and that's the one we don't want to roll because that's going to make us move the aliens uh, forward. Or choose an alien to move forward. So what we're going to be trying to do is using these dice to activate certain things. So, for example, we're going to have weapon cards. So in order for me to activate this weapon, if I were to choose it, I would need to roll a gun symbol on one of my die. I could place it on there to activate the gun. This is going to tell me that I can shoot anything within a shoot at anything within a range of two. I'll be rolling three hit dice, which are these green die. And I need to roll a six or higher to uh, to hit. Yeah, I gotta keep working on it. There was nothing wrong with Twitch Studio except for the sole fact that I can't upload a custom transition and I want to. Oh, yeah. That hand one screams press E to interact in a PC game. Yeah, it definitely looks exactly like that. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> um... So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start rolling these frantically. Uh, we also have these objectives that are gonna be out on the board. Uh, so we're playing extermination. So there are three alien nests out on the map that we need to get to and place these symbols on dice with these symbols on in order to wipe out the nests. So we've got one here. One here, and one here. So we're going to start rolling dice, trying to use movement to move around the board, using guns to try and kill stuff, and we also have these uh, these search symbols here, which we can use if we land on a space with one of these, and we roll one of these uh, magnifying glass icons. You can either search immediately, which, why don't we put this here just so we don't have to reach across mm -hmm. each other. Um, searching immediately means you're going to draw three cards, choose one to keep, and discard the other two. Or you can take the token and wait and do the search action at the end of the action phase. So that you don't have to spend time deciding on a thing to take mm -hmm. while we're yeah while, while we're, we're under stress. <laughs> so that's what you can do with those. Um, so that's really kind of the majority of the um, of the actions phase. Um, some of these search things are going to be weapons. If they are weapons, we can have up to two weapons um, based on our player sheets. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this very well. So I'm playing as... Hey, Data. Rolling dice and taking numbers. That's right. <laughs> we'll see anyway. 
So I'm playing as Voker. Uh, he has a Martian speed suit, so when I roll a movement, I actually get to move one additional space. Um, so you'll see down here at the bottom, we've got two weapon slots. Hey, Jason. How are you doing? Did you get a nap after, uh, after Thanksgiving yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice nap after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I did too, actually. I fell yeah, asleep what, watching the Cowboys. I feel like that's what you do on Thanksgiving. <laughs> you eat a lot of food, you take a nap. So we've got two weapon slots that we can use, uh, and then we can have as many other items as, as we'd like. Uh, we're also going to be tracking our damage on here. If we cross one of these yellow lines with our damage then we actually have to lock one of our action dice. Oh, and there's no way to shoot. heal. Well, there are... I take that back. There are ways to heal, but you have to find them in the search deck. <laughs> Less than a half hour. Luke apparently had other ideas. Sure. Kids typically do. Uh, I surprisingly did not nap, and then had to get up at 4.30 a.m. Oof. Ugh, gross. That's pretty early. I have to get up that early occasionally. Um, I may have to get up that early next week, but I'm trying not to think about that right now. I'm going to fix this camera, because that is way too far I, over. Yeah, I was going to say something. There. Yeah, that should be better. Otherwise, that was way, way outside of the camera. Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, I took a nap, then went to work. Work graveyard this weekend. Oof. All weekend data? Or just today? I mean, I guess you typically work on weekends, right? Man, that'd be gross all weekend, though. That was killing you. It, it, it was doing that last time we played, too, and uh, that, was, that was really bugging me, also. Uh, at... Work, packing some more users to work for, to work, packing some more users to work from home. Figured I would log in and support the stream while AFK. Hey, I appreciate it, Jason. That's awesome. All weekend. Gross. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jen and I had yesterday and today off. Uh, Darren did have to work today, but he got out pretty early, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, we were pretty much finished before lunch break, so... Um, all right, so we've gone through steps, or phases one through three, so then we have the alien activation phase. So during their phase, they're going to activate their ability, so runners don't have an ability. They're just fast. So runners, if there was an ability, it'd be up here at the top. They don't have an ability... They only have a health of one, so it only takes one shot to kill it. But it's good. when it moves, it's going to move three spaces. Which is pretty fast. That can be kind of scary. <laughs> the shooters, they have an ability that says roll one hit die for each hero within range. Uh, within range three. Each hero suffers one damage on a four or higher. So it's going to do that first, and then it's going to move one space. And then we've got the biters, which uh, roll one hit die for each hero within range one, and each hero suffers one damage on a four or higher. And that one moves at a speed of two. So each one of those on the map is going to move two spaces. So it's, uh, the shooters and the biters are going to do damage to us. The runners are going to be the ones we have to worry about getting to the other end of the board. Um, so, yep, first we do the abilities, then we do the movement. Then we do end of round, which is just basically just we check for victory or defeat. Did we win or did we lose? Uh, if neither of those have been met, 
then we return all of our dice, uh, except for the ones that are locked, and refresh the search tokens. And then we'll flip over the next card and do it again. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. uh, how did everybody's uh, Thanksgiving go? Did y'all did y'all have yesterday off at least? And if so, did you uh, did you get plenty of uh, Thanksgiving foods? We we hosted yesterday, so we have quite a bit of leftovers left, which I'm probably gonna get into after this stream is over. I'm I'm excited to get into those <laughs> after stream. Yeah. Uh, Jen worked pretty hard on that, and she uh, she made a lot of really good food, so that's kind of nice to have that around for a while. Uh, I had off, and lots of food. Awesome, Data. That's how you do it. Yep. Okay, so those are the basics. Uh, so you're, we each start with one basic weapon. So we've dealt two. We're going to choose one to keep. And we'll discard the other. Uh, so I've got one that's got a range two, roll one die, hits on a four, or better. Or the rep gun, which has a range two, roll three die, but hits on a six or better. So this one's going to be easier to hit, but I can only roll one die. This one, harder to hit, but I roll three die. So I don't know which one I've got better chances on. I think I gotta go with this one, because this one is just range of one, roll one die, three or higher. This one I get to roll two die, three or higher. Everything else is kind of the same. Everything else is just the same. Yeah, but you do have to use <clears throat> two dice to activate it. Yeah, one true. thing I should explain is that with the blue symbols... Uh, the blue spaces, so on the weapons we've got blue spaces, and on the on other things we have red spaces. The blue spaces, uh, once we've activated it, we can take that die back off and continue to roll that die. The red spaces are locked until the end of the timer. So... That one will take two dice, but once you've activated it, you'll get those dice back. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm going to use the one that rolls three dice, just because I feel like rolling more dice is more fun. Okay. So I don't is... like rolling more dice, because that just means more bad luck for me. <laughs> yeah, he's got... He's got my, uh, he's got my dice rolling luck. 20% off inscription for Black Friday on Steam. Not much, but wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I, that, I watched your stream of it, uh, for a little bit, and it looks pretty good. So, I will definitely have to look into that one. Inscription, what's that one? It's like, a. it's got kind of a deck builder element to it, but it's sort of like a cross between a deck builder and an escape room, almost. Hmm. I don't know, how would you describe it, Data? You, you've actually had a chance to play it, uh, but yeah, it, it looks pretty awesome. I'm going to put my dice over here so I'm not rolling. We're not mixing up our so dice. We're not mixing up our dice. Okay. Uh, so, first things first. Let's flip over an event card. Can you? Are you able to reset? Yeah, I can reset. All right, what does that one say? Swarm Rush. Immediately and reveal... Immediately reveal and resolve an additional swarm spawn card. So normally we would start with two. Nailed it, just like I said. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> um, so normally we would flip over two, but this round we're actually going to be flipping over three spawn cards. Oh, nice. So that's great. So let's go ahead and put that back up there. So... First, we've got three shooters on space two. So these little egg-looking symbols are where we can place 
uh, where we can spawn these guys. And there are going to be some tactical things to consider when we go to spawn these guys. Because as they move, they're going to push each other forward, potentially. So we want to try and get them spread out as much as possible. Because if they start pushing, they're going to move faster. <laughs> so is... Is their movement like the arrows? And yep, they're ours always is the grids, or they're well, they're gonna move through the grids, but they're gonna move through the grids following the arrows. Following the arrows. So, like this guy is gonna move here. Okay. So that's something else to consider. Like we can't move through the bushes. Right. We can't move through walls. So. And then we've got three runners at one. Where are all my runners? One, two. And this has some pretty, uh, pretty gnarly miniatures also. Uh, ugly alien dudes. And then for a third that we have to, oh, five biters. At oh, I question see. mark. They don't they don't mess around, they're just throwing us into the deep end. Four <laughs> five. So so when it when it shows a question mark on the card, so normally these spawn points have a number on them and some of them are gonna tell you exactly where they spawn. Like this one says spawn it at location one. If it's got a question mark on it, like this one does, then you roll a die and and each spawn point has a die value assigned to it, so it'll tell us which one those are going to go to. So five, so it's going to be, we're going to have five at five. So one, two, three. And now, because all of those spawn points are full, we have to start pushing them out. So four. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we have to reveal the boss spawn card. All clear. So we got the all clear on that one. So that's good. That's one less thing to worry about. It's one thing we don't have to deal with. We'll set those next to here. Eventually, when, when we start flipping over actual boss cards, we'll have to put them out because that's where they're going to have their stats. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, we're going to get the app pulled up. I tried pulling this up on Windows. Unfortunately, there really isn't a, an app that works with Windows. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to hear the app very well. Let's see. So we are doing the abandoned lab. Okay. So, do you understand everything about the, the dice rolling and stuff? So, movement. Movement That's is this the... one, yep. right? So, it's going to be if you get one of these, you move up. You move one space. Like, Except for me, I have the ability, because of my merchant speed suit, if I roll one of those, I can move two. Yeah, I get it. The thing that was throwing me off was the difference between the grids and the the arrows. That gotcha. was messing with my head a little bit. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the arrows. Okay. And in this game, too, you can move diagonal. Okay. So it doesn't have to be orthogonally adjacent. That Sweet. You can move you can move diagonally. That's, that's fine. Um... So, I guess let's talk strategy a little bit before we start the timer. My thought is because I have the speed suit, it may make sense for me to rush out to try and do these. Yeah. And since you don't take damage from pushes, it may make some sense for you to hang back and 
kind of barricade things yeah, up. Yeah, and... try to wipe them out as they try and come in. Now, we're going to have to be careful with that too, though, because we can't let... There are three ways for them to get in. They can get right. in this way, Yeah. they can get in this way, or they can get in this way. And if we leave any one of them unprotected for too long, they're going to swarm in. Yeah. So, that's something to, to consider. Mm-hmm. So... I'm going to do my best to try and mow down as much as possible. There might come a point where I have to move back. Yeah. And start helping you yeah. uh, wipe these guys out. It's This game is intense. Um, I think this is going to be a, a, a... I think this is going to be a fun one to watch, to be honest, because it's, it's pretty frantic action. Because we're going to be rolling these dice as fast as yeah. possible to try and get what we need. This is going to be a nightmare the first couple rounds because I'm still going to be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, another thing I would suggest, because I've played this before, try to get to one of these spots if you can, as okay. early as you can. All right. To try and get to try I might and just gear try up. And book it through there and get to it. Then. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get over here to this one. Yeah, it's, it's a little cool. bit farther away, but with my extra movement, I think that's I think that's all right. Yeah, this one's basically just straight out for me. So. Right. So let's try and gear up first, then we'll start moving out. Yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Go. Got a movement. I got two movements. So I can move one, two. Three, four. I got three of these and an alien. Oh, so you just pick one to move forward one, one move space. Forward. Yep. I have two aliens. Uh. Uh. <laughs> movement. Oh my gosh, I have two more aliens. Uh, oh my gosh, I have an alien. <laughs> one, two. Um. Uh, I'm not rolling any movement. I got two movement, that was it. And one two. more. And an alien. And an alien. Sweet. Another alien. <sighs> oh, that almost landed on alien. <laughs> one, two. And then I've got this. I can take... I'm going to just take it right now. I'm not going to worry about... Oh, come on. Two aliens. Uh, one alien. Two movements. Oh, come on. Okay. Nope. Nope. Two more alien movements. Uh, 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 uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> none of those were good. This is not. Yeah, this is not. Oh come on. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, that's that's actually not too good. Movement. Got ten seconds. Move. Come on. One, two. <laughs> One, two. One second. No. Oh. Okay, right. yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> legit. This is legit. Okay. Yeah, those aliens really start moving when you don't move. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> right. Ugh. Wow. Okay. So, we each got a search token, so go ahead and resolve that. It was... So draw three, three choose one. Choose one. And then that token can go back on the board. Back in the same spot. Yep. So we can actually keep searching those spaces if we need to. Oh, I got a meta pack. Heal three damage to yourself. That's I. That's nice enough that I'm gonna keep that. The weapon wow. is good, but that's, but that's infinite. A, that's expensive. Four, four dice, five up. Okay. 
shoots only in a straight line. Yeah. Uh, that's that's pretty good though. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, these are nice too. So these are. Uh, so there are certain things that are like attachments to weapons. So this one will actually let you roll an additional die with the weapon that you've got. So, like, you could slot that in here, and now you're rolling two hitting on threes. Yeah. Which actually makes you pretty effective. Right. Is that... So this is actually going to slot underneath okay. you, so it yeah. doesn't take up a weapon space. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. So now, yeah, that's pretty good. So put those underneath. Okay. And this is an item, so that doesn't take up one of my weapon slots. Alright. So now we do... I'm going to turn this down a little bit yeah. while we're doing this. I'll turn it back up during the action phase, but I want to turn it down so we can hear each other <laughs> when it's not. Um, Alright. So now we do the alien ability step. Uh, nobody's within melee range of the biters. Nobody's within shooting range of the shooters. So no, they don't. None of their special abilities act. Right. Uh, so then, we're going to move them. So, when it comes to movement, we get to choose which what, who moves first, and that's going to give us some sort of tactical uh, strategizing that we can do because we can try and move some out of the way so they get pushed less. Yeah. Um, for example, so these guys are going to move three. The runners move three. Right. So he's going to go one, two, three. No, oh, he's going to go one, two, three. Let's see. He's going to move one. Oh, no. Two, three. So they are right behind each other. So wow, you guys are a lot closer than I'd like you to be. Yeah, there, that's not great. Uh, shooters are all going to move one, so one, 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 biters all move two, so one, two, one, uh, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. See how I split? So this one could split and go either here or here. Mm -hmm. If I put him here, he would have pushed this one closer. Yeah, we're basically just maintaining the flow. Yep, so pushing him over here, less chance of them all piling up on mm -hmm. top of each other. Alright. <clears throat> so that's, that's it for that. So we've replaced those. So now we're on to round two. So... Let's flip over the next event card. Sudden movement. Move any aliens a total of three spaces combined. So, amongst all of these aliens, we have to move out... This <laughs> So, Mel! <laughs> How's it going, Selfish? How was your, uh... chill at home Thanksgiving day? Um, so, between all of the aliens out here, we have to move a total of three spaces. So. Uh, I don't know, man. What do you think? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we don't want to move anybody anywhere where it's going to push more. Doing well? It was nice. Awesome. Good to hear it. I'm, I'm going to be having to do a lot of combat this next round. I'm I'm going to try and get out this way and start taking out these guys. If you can come out this way and try and get yeah. these guys. What's your range? Oh, your range is only one. One. Um, maybe try and search again if you can. Yeah, okay. Um, if you get the, just, if you get the just, movement. I can it. just try and hit this one since that's the closest one on the way. And then I can just try and loop around and... Oh, that was weird. Uh, put up all the Christmas deco. Nice! We still gotta do that yet. Yep, I think we're gonna probably try and do that uh, maybe Sunday. I think is our is our plan. I don't know why I moved all the way back here. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to come out here. 
Yeah, you I, were gonna. You were gonna. Do, I was gonna come gonna out go this there, way, but I totally then, panicked and went this yeah, way. We so I should it. be here. Wait, I should be. You should one, be there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Never played this one. Looks like fun. Co-op alien slaying. Yep. Yep. It's very much. Uh, Darren said it reminded him a lot of the uh, the flood from Halo. Um, but we got some some gnarly alien dudes. I haven't played Halo in so long. Uh, I miss Halo. We've got some pretty pretty wicked looking big boss monsters too. Gotta show off your favorite one. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, this guy here, he's kind of slug looking. He's really nasty, and he's got one of the worst abilities. I hate this guy. <laughs> to the point where I almost want to take him out of the game. Uh, <laughs> There's one crazy... That, that looks like something out of Bloodborne. Do you feel a Halo vibe? It very much has kind of a Halo feel to it. It's just swarms and swarms of aliens that are going to keep coming in at us. And they have and guns. <laughs> some of them have guns. These ones run really fast. These ones, if they get up next to you, they're going to do some melee damage. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm just a quick refresher on how combat works real quick, because I know that I'm going to need to get mm -hmm. right into that once the the timer starts. So, it's, we're rolling one to two that. So... So if you roll one of those, one of those symbols, then you can place it on the die. Yeah. And then when you activate that, you're going to roll your hit dice, which are the green hit dice. dice. Okay. And if you roll any threes or higher, you, you hit. Okay. Gotcha. All of these guys only take one hit to kill. Okay. Yeah. So you hit, you take it, and you chuck it off the board. And just forget it ever existed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just wait for the next one to come yep. through. Because <laughs> right. we're trying to, we got to move fast. All right. So we need to move three. Um, I'm thinking probably one of these. Like this guy maybe? Yeah. One. Two. Yeah. And maybe and three. One of because, up. yeah, because then if we yeah. spread them out, then if we they don't, move. We don't have to worry about those for a second yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, may have to do some lurking. Time to start making dinner, and I have no clue what I'm making. I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight either. So bring me some food. Who who knows? All right. I gotta make my chicken enchiladas for you guys again. Yeah. I keep saying that. All right. So now we're gonna do the alien spawn phase. We're gonna flip over two this time. So we get three shooters at three. One. Two, three, two biters at one, one, two, all right, that's it this time, we're not flipping over yeah, a third, yeah, at least we're not getting five, <laughs> chicken enchiladas sound good, yeah, that does sound good, yeah, that does sound good, all right, Action phase. You said you're gonna try and grab. I'm gonna try and grab this. that. Hopefully before Batty start running at me. But if not, then I'm just gonna have to start shooting what I can. Right. I would say just whatever the dice let you do. Right. You know what I mean. If, if you get if you yeah. get the movement, go for the search. But if not, go for the kill. Right. I'm going to try and come out this way so that I can block these guys, because eventually these guys are all going to start funneling towards this entrance. Yeah, that's... That's kind of a... So that's that's my plan. It's kind of a predicament. All right. So we will start rolling after we hear the alarm. Okay. Okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Two alien movement. Uh... Oh my gosh, two alien movement. Oh, come on. 
You don't want any movement. I am not getting any movement. I'm, I'm getting barely any movement. There we go. One, two, three, four. I can yep. do. I'm shooting. I missed. Oh no, that's not great. Shooting again. Nope. Oh no. Shooting again. Got him. Two, uh, three, four. Oh no! Give me movement, please. Gun, gun. I'm shooting behind me. Nope, missed. <laughs> this is like the most intense tabletop game I've ever played. Couldn't even feel like I could like talk or anything. So I'm just like so like. Well, I got one die on there, but I, unfortunately I, I wasn't you. able to get because I wanted to try and shoot this guy. I got because this, because I, I because I got behind him. I got this, and then I killed two aliens. So yeah, that's that's something. We did, we, we did a thing. We we did some stuff. <laughs> we did some stuff. This oh is a fun wait! Game, though. Is this? Uh, is I'm pretty that? sure that's where that's supposed to go. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that's a legal place for me to be. Oh. Because I'm in the bushes. So I probably should be back here still, which means that shouldn't be there. Aw, oh, shit. Sometimes it's an easy thing to do. It's easy to miss things like that in these real-time games yeah, because you're trying I'm, to move I'm so quick. I'm kind of struggling with that, especially with keeping track of like <laughs> what kind of dice I'm laying. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm like cheating anything, but like... Right. Uh, we go by the rule of cool. If it's cool, do it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> um, try not to make a mistake, but if oh, that yeah, happens, I've, it happens. I've been, I've been keeping track of it. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's, there's a lot going on. All right. Uh, okay, so now we've got the alien ability step. Shooters. Um... I don't remember if Bush's black line of sight. I know that aliens and people don't. And you're gonna but be walls some, do. You're going to be in some trouble right there, though. Uh, Bush's... Yeah. So you do Bush's black line of sight. It's got some very Stranger Things-esque music. Which is block line of sight. So the shooters. The shooters can't shoot me, but the biters will bite me. So. Uh, so I have to roll. What is it they hit on? Oh, I don't remember. 
Hit it on a four or better. Bat Carl. Great game. Probably my favorite real-time game. Yeah, I think it's mine too, Carl. Uh, it's... It's really exciting, really tense, but yeah. then you get a minute to stop and, and replan, yeah, yeah, which a lot of times you don't really get to do. Yeah. I love it. Like I just started. I already love it. All right, I take one damage. All right, you are out of range of the shooters, or you're out of line of sight at least, because yeah. that bush is going to block line of sight. So definitely plan that you, out. You are <laughs> all right there. Uh, now and we're going to move. And I don't get any damage when aliens push me. So if yep. So those run into me. Then yep. He's going to move three, which means he's going to go one. Well, we could have him go around you, but do you want that? I don't think so. Would it probably that's be better probably, to have that's him? That's probably not a good idea. One, two. <clears throat> Where's he gonna push me though? That's up to you. Where would you rather be pushed? Probably oh, because if I'm over here, I'm ready for if this for guy starts guys. running through. But if I'm, you know, also if, if I'm over here, that leaves an opening for him to just. Start bolting on through. Yeah, but you could always come back through here. That's true. If he starts yeah, going, yeah, yeah. going the wrong way. Yeah, I think we're going to have him push me over here. Oh. And then, yeah. And then he's one, two, three, so he's not going to push again. Much sneak again. around him. And... These guys move two, so one, two. One, two. Uh, these guys are one each. These guys are going to move one each. Nope, these are two. My mistake. And then these guys are one. So we're going to actually have him move there. Him move there and have him move there. Well, we're going to spread them out so they're not... It's going to make them harder to get to, but it also means yeah. they're not going to be pushing each other That's quite true. as much. This is yeah. one thing I've noticed with two players, it's very hard to control the control the combat because <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I'm, you really need we need like some decent range on our weapons yeah and I don't have that oh I do have this I forgot about this oh I yeah yeah, yeah 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 awesome what we got got a rocket launcher a multi launcher and extra ammo what does the extra ammo do all your weapons gain plus one hit die until the end of the round. Oh, so you're rolling four instead of three? That's nice. Yeah. So those ones have red on them, which means that you can use those, but you, you can only use them, them once per round, basically. Yeah, but one of these might come in handy. It's true. In a second. So I might, I might pick up the rocket launcher for right now. Be a makes sense to me. Be a nice quick. Hey, there's too many aliens, so just. I'm glad I have this meta pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got I got kind of surrounded there, and I'm yeah. gonna be surrounded for a You're while. You're gonna be so surrounded for a second. I'm gonna need that. Yeah, you just kind of. We roll a janky. <laughs> 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 I got this guy. <laughs> right. Uh, let's flip over an event. <laughs> Toxic Ooh. proxies. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. So, this is one of the ongoing effects. At the end of the alien spawning phase, select three different aliens and place one acid token adjacent to each alien following the alien path. This is going to keep doing that until we put these symbols on this card. So in a one to two player game, we have to put two hand symbols on here. Okay. If, we, if we were playing with three, we'd have to put also put a wrench. Four, we'd have to put two wrenches. And so on. Mm. Stop locking. So this is going to be an ongoing one. We'll, we'll keep this down here. Just for right now, at least, until we take care of it. Uh, that way... 
when we need to put dice on it, we don't have to jump across the table. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So that's that. Oh, okay. Swarm phase. Five runners at two. One. Two. Three. Four. Um, I think no matter what, it's going to be pushing somebody. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Um, I could go here and push this guy up. Or I, feel I could like go if, here and push this guy up. I guess either way, it's, it's kind of... I feel like if you do that way, though, it's going to be easier to split them up later. Yeah? Alright. We'll try that. Because that kind of gets them all kind of getting set down this path. And, and then... <clears throat> two shooters at two. Ugh. Ugh, man. Alright, we're going to, I guess, go that way. And then go... This way. But now we got a conga line of runners going. Yeah. Through. So that's... That's not fantastic. It just feels like Call of Duty Zombies the board game. <laughs> and I love it. Okay. And then we gotta flip over a boss card. All clear? No, they're all clear. Okay, go ahead and discard that. Alright. Ready for another action phase? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any tomes? <laughs> right. I need a Tylenol. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. Uh, no. One. Two. Uh, I'm going to shoot. I rest it on you down there. Missed. Uh, okay. Shooting. Oh no! <laughs> Got one. Uh, we're killing this guy. Uh, gotta move two. One. Uh, two. So I could use my med pack. Yeah. I got one. I gotta move one. We're getting overrun, man. Two, I can heal. Whoa! Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, nice! Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, uh, I can move again, though. Oh my gosh! Uh, Give me some movement, please. Oh, no, that wasn't the... <laughs> no, wrong oh. kind of movement. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what's happening to me, too. All right, you know what? I'm going to start doing this. Okay, we got instead. movement. I'm going to start moving. Uh, I'm trying... I'm having good luck. I'm going to try and get to that. I was so close to being able to finish that one off. Ugh. Hey, you are... You are deep in the lost mess right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is... <sighs> this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine what hard mode would be like. <laughs> have every single space covered. And we haven't even had a boss come out on the board yet. Right, exactly. Yeah, I'm, this is going great. 
Carl, what are you guys up to today? How was uh, Black Friday at Out of the Box? I feel like this is going to end up being one of those situations where we're both just right here, just shooting whatever we can before. Yeah. <laughs> Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Right, hey. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just see this guy with a Rambo stance. I just, uh. Okay. Uh... Alien ability. Uh, I'm going to get shot twice. You are actually not, so you're, you're staying pretty well protected. Yeah, so they're killer right away. Shot twice, hit on a four. I get hit once. Yeah, I was able to turn that one runner in front of me so I could get him and then get the shooter behind him so that I could just come back here and I was trying to go for that before the timer ran out. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have geared up a little bit better, at least got another weapon. Having this meta pack is handy with me being the one that's out here. Yeah. Uh, not much going on. Might play a solo game later if I can't talk someone into playing with me. Otherwise, pretty laid back day. Nice. Uh, do you know what you're going to play yet? Thought about what you're going to set up? Yeah, the good thing about this exoskeleton is I basically just turned into a giant barricade for... Yeah. For all this. I'm the meat shield. Alright. Um, probably going to go for that and then... Probably the best bet would be to come back out here because I can't see them getting in here for a bit yet unless you want me to start rushing out and trying to help you. But the problem is, is now we have them so spread out that no matter which way I go, there's still going to be something going to get right. through a bit. Well, the tricky one is going to be these guys here. Yeah. <laughs> and what I can do... So we can make this guy, because here we got a choice between either going this way or this way. So we can have him go one, two, three. Yeah. These guys move two, one, two, one, two. This guy's gonna be. He's gonna push. One, two, three. No, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I was like, oh. He was back here, right? Yeah. It would have been one, two, three. Mm -hmm. okay. Cause that's not great, but at least he's not getting pushed by they don't this guy only pushed him one and stuff. Right. So this guy did we move him? No. Okay. So he's only gonna move one. One. Hey, he's gonna get pushed anyway. Yeah, he's gonna get pushed anyways. Three. Oh one, no. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one. Push three. Wow. He's go one, two. Did I move him three? No. I think I. Maybe. I think I did. I think he did. Cause he's only supposed to move one. Because he's a shooter. No, it's still not great, but... No, but... Better. Better. <laughs> uh, one, two. One, two. Uh, one, 
two, one, two, nope, one, he's a shooter. Uh, I'm gonna have him go around me because otherwise uh, he's gonna push me. Yeah. And I take damage, yeah. which would lock up one of my dice. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna go one, two, three. He only moves one. I'm starting to wonder who's in the worst position here. <laughs> um, because my position isn't great, but neither is yours. Yeah. Hmm. Return dice. Put your token back. Well, we haven't lost yet. Uh, we still need to do. Oh no, we already did that. Yep. Did we do that? So before? first we actually, at the end of the alien spawning phase, select three different aliens. Oh, we forgot oh. to do that. Uh, so, let's say... We'll put some out here next to the ones that are already out, and then we'll do it again this round, just to make sure we've got as many. Okay. Uh, out of the box, as always, neat on Black Friday, store was busy, and they had a bunch of mystery boxes and discounted games. Yeah, I've never tried getting into their, uh, checking out their, like, mystery boxes or anything, but I should do that. That seems like something that Jen would like. <laughs> yeah. It's been a bit since I've been to Out of the Box. Yeah. Uh, Great Western Trail has been set up for a few days, so if I go solo, it will be that one. I mean, I really like that game, so there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that game was just a beast to try and learn it to in the morning, though. Right. <laughs> At the Grand Con, we tried to learn it. All right. Next event. Oh. Uh, limited equipment. Heroes may not perform search actions or draw alien tech cards. So alien tech cards are something that we get to draw when we defeat one of the bosses. Yeah. But they're basically, they're like what you would get from the search deck. Mm. They're just more powerful. Just alien probably end up with a bunch of games you already have if you went with a mystery box. Yeah, that's a good point. We should probably start worrying about these a little bit. Probably. we got a lot to worry about. Yep. Um, we sure do. <laughs> Alright. Swarm. Two okay. shooters at three... I'm doing this with one handgun and a rocket launcher. Uh, and three biters at one. Oh, that's not a biter. Where's my biters? There, there. Boss. I don't think we're going to keep getting lucky. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, now we got to put out three more acid tokens, because we, we forgot to do that last time. I mean, I don't want to fill up this area too much with them, right. because oh. otherwise I'm going to have a heck of a time getting over to these nests. Man. Maybe over, like, maybe one here? Because that's kind of out of the yeah, way, it's right? Yeah, out of the way. I'm and just we could probably to... do over here, too. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to hold all these dudes. I think I'm going to have to rush back, because yeah. I think otherwise... There's no way I'm going to be able to get knock all that back myself. Yeah. I'm going to at least try and get over here and wipe these guys out so you can just worry about what's coming right here. Maybe I can try and use this rocket launcher over here, just because this seems to be the... The big area, so just knock one of them out. Yeah. That's easy. Um, maybe we'll put one over here. Because I don't see us going up this way too no. much. If we can help it. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. <clears throat> and then we can't do the search action, so that's so fine. And there's so that so, that so way anymore. Yep. No point in checking that. And we don't have a boss out, so we wouldn't be drawing any alien tech right now anyway. Let's try and get at least one of these off the board. Okay. If we can. Uh, but. I'm going I'm to start coming so, back and trying to get yeah. some So shoot that, when uh, you can. Move if you need to. But also keep in mind that we can right now use these or these mm -hmm. for other stuff. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's great. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, really? Here's one. There's a uh, search. There's another search. This one's gone. Oh, hey, I got one of these also. Got some movement. That's good. Uh, I can shoot. I got one of these. Is this... Hey, I killed one. <laughs> Is it just we had yep, to... Yep, you got it. Some... We're done. Yep, take take one of those. Okay, cool. I think you stole one of my dice. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. There's one. Healing, moving one, two, and then shooting. We're gonna hit. I can hit range. Range two. Missed. What? Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Thirty seconds. Missed again. Nothing. Gosh, I am not. Oh my gosh! Really any shoot. What? Six seconds. Done. Oh my gosh, what? I couldn't shoot anything that entire round. I got one. I shot at something twice, but missed on every single one. I was literally just <sighs> doing like tech and investigation stuff almost the entire time. The yeah. Alien movement. I mean, it was helpful because it did let us get rid of those two, uh, right. two yeah, event we got cards. Rid of, we got rid of those pretty and quick. I was able to heal up again, which was nice. But I wasn't able to wipe out any of the people. I got one guy. Yeah. I got one guy out of there. But all these guys are still going to move. Yeah. I should have backed up way further. <clears throat> well, I guess it doesn't matter. They don't, uh, they don't damage me. But. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be. So. You need to roll a hit die for the shooter. Because you are within range now. So roll one green die. Two. He missed. Rough rolls, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I gotta roll three for the biters. I mean, I guess, yeah, we did choose to... I got hit three times. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! One, two, three. This so is, that means I have to not lock... not the game to play. Yeah. <laughs> I have to lock up one of my dice. Oh, man. <sighs> Two of the worst people in the family with dice. and we're... I mean, I still have my med pack. My med pack lets me heal three, which would get, that, get me that die back. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but still, that sucks. All right. Now they're going to move. Oh, let's flip those back over, but we'll... So we know which round we're on. Yeah, it's good. Uh, but then we'll just, like, we'll exhaust them. Okay. Just to show that we've finished them at least. Alright. 
So wow. these guys are gonna move oh, two. Go do you want him co them coming towards you, or do they want them coming back this way? Because these runners are gonna start pushing. Yeah. Like hard. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't yeah, know it all just kind of depends on which way we want them to funnel in. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no way we're going to be able to stop most of them getting out. At least right now, we're going to have to do a lot of fighting up in here. Yeah. As much as we can, anyways. I need to clear these guys out so I can even get in this way. I'd try and move them this way just so we can keep that area somewhat clear in Move them this way? We're just, moving this way. Just away from... Yeah, we can move them this way, and then I can cut back in. Oh, no. No, that's that's a better idea. One, two. One, two. Because then I don't have to go back and forth. Then, I mean, yeah, I'm getting one, rushed two, by a bunch of people, but... Three... Do you want to go that way, or do you want to go this way? Well, if I go that, this way, I can, I can do this now that that's gone, right? You can, but these guys are going to push. That's true. If you're here, you can at least yeah. block them off yeah, that's true. one way. Because he's going to go one, but he's going to go one, two, three. Wow. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, this is ugly. Yeah, I'm. One. I'm really putting that. One, uh, two, one, two. Exoskeleton to test. No, wait, I already moved him, didn't I? I think I did. Yes. Chad, if anybody remembers if I already moved this guy here, let me know. I can't remember if I did or not. It's one of those days. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him there and if somebody tells me that I did not move him yet, I will move him. Uh one two one two one two Hey, so very wrong about games. Thanks for the follow. How are you doing today? How is your uh, how's your week weekend looking? Uh, one. This is two. Ugly. This isn't going great. This is not going. <laughs> this is not going one, good at all. One. I literally have an entire wall of zombies, or not zombies, aliens in front of me. I keep wanting to say zombies. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to... That's what I do with uh, Christopher a lot, is we play a lot of Call of Duty zombies. Yeah. That's kind of our thing. I mean, you could easily, like, they could easily reskin this could, as yeah, a zombie game. they could game. easily reskin this as a zombie game, but... It's got, it's got a very similar feel to it. And it's just hordes of... <laughs> Things that do not like you very much. Yep. Okay, well, that was movement. Um, checked for victory or defeat. Um, getting there. We're <laughs> very close to defeat. Get, getting but, there. But <laughs> we're working on it. Alright. Uh, next event. Okay. All right. Shell Shock. At the beginning of the alien ability step, each hero suffers one damage. Gross. So for that, we need yeah, wrenches. I don't think that'll be too hard to get rid of, though. It shouldn't be. I've, I've been, been rolling a ton I've of those. I've been rolling a ton of wrenches. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, so very wrong about games. Bat Carl is the one that told me about your podcast in the first place. Uh, and I spent... Uh, Spent quite a while getting caught getting caught up, but yeah, great podcast. All right, we're revealing two, three biters at three. Two, three. I feel like those look the gnarliest to me, almost. 
the biters. And they're going to activate immediately because of that symbol at the bottom, which we may have missed on a few of them. So they're going to move two, so one, two, one, two, one, two. And three shooters at three. One, two, three. These do not activate. Boss card. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the gut slug. So this is the guy I said I hated. Here's the guy. Uh, Carl remembers this guy. So this is the guy that, that kind of kind of killed us last time. So his special thing is reveal and spawn one swarm spawn card. Use gut slugs adjacent spaces as spawn points instead of the card's location. So as he moves forward, he's going to start spawning bad guys up close. Yeah. So instead of them coming from back here and giving us some sometimes <laughs> to deal with oh, them. Awesome. It's going to start spawning up very close to us. Wow, yeah, I can see why you do not like that very much. Uh, got me into Regicide, which has quickly become one of Christie's favorite games. Yeah, Regicide is actually... I'm really impressed with what they did with what is essentially just a deck of cards. Uh, so he's gonna, so, we need Gut Slug. We need Gut Slug. Gut Slug. He's going to spawn at... 2. <laughs> right in the middle, how can we need it? And then he immediately moves to... Wow, he moves a lot for a giant slug. And he's gonna spawn... Oh, he's gonna spawn. On. So let's put this up here so we can still see what he does. But he's gonna spawn three runners at spaces adjacent to him. One, two. I don't want to put him behind because I was thinking, oh, we could put him back here and that'd be cool. No, but because then, but yeah, then he's gonna push him all the way up. Push him all the way so up. That'd be, and, yeah, we don't. That would be that. horrible. It would be terrible. Well, let's not do that. <laughs> We're already in uh, a bit of a rough spot as it is. Okay, ready for action? Yeah. I'm gonna. I, the only thing I can really do is come through here and try and mow these guys down if I can get a shot off. Yeah, the only thing I can do is just kind of stand my ground and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> get but rid this of this. Is, and this is a lot of. It's a lot of guys, right in my way. Beginning of the alien ability step. Oh, but we're not. We haven't gotten to that point yet. So okay. if we if we get rid of it this round, do we have to? No, then we won't have to then take we the. Then we won't have to take the extra damage. So Sweet. that's definitely a good idea. That's definitely a good idea. Okay. <laughs> let's do. Let's do that if so we can. So I'll I'll try and get some some wrenches out while trying to mow down what I can. Yeah. Ready? Yep. I got a wrench. I got a wrench. Sweet. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I also got, got a movement. I'm going to back up one because... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, that was a fun. bad idea. Where'd my die go? <laughs> I'm going to need that. Oh, I don't know why I had your die. Oh. oh. One, two... Give me some guns, please. There it is. Give me some guns. Okay, sweet. Got one gun. Oh, I got another gun. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. There, got one, finally. <laughs> Oh, 
at least move up. Two, three. I get my die back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it! Hey, what's up, King Whipsy? Got two of them. I was not having great luck with with rolling. That Honestly, time. that we. So the still isn't great. No, we're not looking good. But we moved down a lot more than we, we've managed to in yeah, the past, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. It's all the gut slogan, now the adrenaline's kicking in. We're like, oh, they mean business now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad I was able to heal that yeah. round, and that yeah, got that, me back down I... to yeah. being able to roll all four of my dice again. Unfortunately, I rolled all four of them just as time ran out, yeah. but still... Well, I'm definitely about to take some damage this time around. <laughs> uh, right. Basically, I'll just single file come for me. Yeah. Alright, alien ability step. We got rid of that. We um, got rid of that. Event, so, yeah. so that's good. Oh, we got that right. Aliens that with their abilities. Uh, you're going to get... Shot at once and bitten at twice. So that's just three. Yeah, I mean you can roll. Well, so let's roll the shooter first. Okay. Just so we can three. keep him straight. What does he hit on? He hits on a four, so you're safe. So he and then uh, roll two for your biters, and they're gonna hit on fours. Yeah, Legend. Three, and, three and two, so we're good. What's happening? I'm lucky. I'm being Project Elite. Yeah. I'm pretty Have lucky you played it, Legends? Uh, this is a. I love this game. This is one of my favorite. So, in general, I don't tend to like real time very much. I liked Escape the Curse of the Temple, but I love this game. Uh, this one, it's super tense. There's always some tactical strategy as far as where you're moving to, where you're moving the aliens to, um, and then it's real frantic for two minutes straight, and, I mean, yeah, it's one of the few games, like, board games that I've ever played that actually gets my adrenaline pumping. This is great for someone who plays, like, a lot of, like, first-person shooters and stuff. Like, this right. Is, this is perfect. Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah. Uh, my son Darren was saying that this reminds him a lot of Halo. And I can, I totally agree with that. This has a very Halo feel to it. Almost like Destiny. Yeah, that too. I mean, Halo and Destiny have. Yeah, a... they're both kind of. Yeah, they're <laughs> kind of same. Um. All right. Alien. Of, oh, so that was yours. I'm out of range of everybody, so I'm actually not taking any damage for once. Yeah, you're not taking any damage. <laughs> I was just saying, like I'm, like I've been super unlucky with all my other rolls, but I've been able, like I haven't been hit once, which is great. Sir, Circado, Circado. Hey, what's going on? Welcome in. For all my uh, U.S. Uh, peeps, how did uh, how was your Thanksgiving? And do you have a long weekend, or did you have to go back to work today? <laughs> uh, Legend says I'm at work, but after work, going to look at Black Black Friday local game store. If Project Elite is on the deal for today, I'm buying it. <laughs> I recommend it. That's that's um, a good game for sure. I. This is one of those. So we were playing the 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 come on edition. Um, there was an older edition which I think had some kind of not so great miniatures, 
there were some issues with fulfilling the Kickstarter, and so that one kind of came and went without a trace. Um, the the Kaman edition is really nice quality. Um, there are, um, it, I mean, it's it's a little on the expensive side, uh, but. So, like, I probably wouldn't have picked it up had I not had a, a really good... Like, I had a, a gift card to our FLGS. Uh, Circato says, I'm actually working today, but it is double pay. Hey, I yeah, mean... Yeah, that's why... I, that's, that's, that's all right. <laughs> I, had, I had to go in today to get my, my holiday pay for my Thanksgiving off. Right, so. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times they'll... Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you okay. want to get your holiday yeah, pay. Yeah, we do for holiday pay. It was kind of the general message that everyone had throughout the day while we were there. So we had... To, I had the option to work on Saturday this weekend for double pay. Um, but Saturday happened to be the day that my family is doing our Thanksgiving gathering. Um, see... I did my Black Friday buys already. Got a couple of expansions for Folklore the Affliction and Roleplayer Adventures. So I had Folklore the Affliction for a for quite a long time, and um, just never got got it to the I table. I don't think we really got that out at all. No, yeah. I, I opened it. I read through the rules. I you know punched it all out and everything. I didn't even um, get to look at it. But just I don't know for some reason I could never get that one to the table. Yeah. But I feel like there's a lot of games that we still haven't gotten to the table. I think. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a, we got a lot of them. Um, role player adventures. I'm I'm really curious about that one. I, uh, I I would like to check that one out. I I really like role player. Um, that's pretty high on my list of favorite games. So uh, definitely want to check that one out. Yeah, role player. I'd like to play that one again. It's been a bit since I played that one. Okay, where are we now? So we just did the movement, right? No, we did the no, we did the alien activation yeah. or the ability. So we have to do the movement now. Oh god. RPG in a box. Yeah, that's how I've always heard it described, it, and it looks very much like an RPG in a box. Which is one of the reasons why I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get is there a way we can do this where we can take the least amount of damage? Um. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't get any damage when they push us. Yeah. I'm more worried about how we're gonna keep them back. See, also the advanced combat rules help the games a lot. Oh, really? Okay. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Selfish Lock. Uh, Selfish Lock joined me on stream uh, to play a role player on. Uh, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, on Tabletopia, on stream uh, a while back, uh, and loved it so much that I ended up picking it up for him and dropping it off uh, from RFLGS because they happen to have it. Uh, but that one is... Game is magic. Adventures for Christmas? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> once once for now and once for after... Or once for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> that game is magic. Yeah, I think, I think it's, I think it's really clever. It's how, really good. How it works. And it's, it's fun because, I mean, I have a lot of fun rolling up characters for... RPGs and D &D so yeah, and so like doing that, that is, is a lot of fun. We still need to make a character for me. I've still never made a character. So I keep thinking about doing like a like a community RPG night or something yeah. on stream or something like that. I think that'd be a lot that'd of fun. Be, that'd be fun. Alright. Um so oh. he's gotta move this way. One, two. He's gotta move this way. One, two. Um. Uh, 
I almost think it's better to swing him out this way. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to swing out this way. I don't, I don't see if, any other way to do it. Right. If we do this, we're going to have a conga line of runners, and right. they're all going to start pushing each other. And that's going to be... And that's going to be bad. That's not going to be great. So, one, two, three for him. I feel like at this point we're just kind of delaying one, the inevitable. two... <laughs> yeah. Three... One... Two... And three. I'm getting all sorts of pushed around. <laughs> you are, but at least that puts you over there... Like, I mean, you're you're making a goal line stand here, right? Pretty much, yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> this, is, this is the last stand. Hey, Sir Kato, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the community. Uh, if you have a chance, check out... Uh, so if you go to our About section, you'll see a link to our... Or if you click the banner to our Discord page, you can join the Discord. There's a lot of discussion going on there about board games and tabletop games, card games, RPGs, all that kind of stuff, miniatures painting. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just fun sometimes. Yeah. So just... uh, in addition to that, we've got a community challenge going on right now. So if you... Uh, contribute to the community challenge uh, if we hit the goal within our 30 day period I'm going to do a what's probably going to amount to a day long stream where I give an entire tour of my whole board game collection so that's, that's for sure going to be in about, a, about 400 uh, board games that we'll be going through that's going to be a long <laughs> stream <laughs> it'll, it'll probably take a while uh Hey, Selfish contributed. Thank you, Selfish. Oh, and thanks for throwing up the Discord uh, link. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, and I'm a solo player, so yeah. Also, the art reminds me of the old Bethesda. Oh, it does kind of look like Elder Scrolls stuff. I agree. Uh, solo mode for role player is great. I really I love the solo mode. I haven't played solo role player yet. I, I, I recommend it. I haven't played I think it's many really games. Good solo. I don't think I've played many games solo. I've played that um, <clears throat> Space Hulk Death Angel, but I played that wrong. Yeah. So, yeah. I think... Let's see. So maybe we go one, two with these guys. He can go one and go over here so that he can go one, two, three and not get pushed. Yeah. And we have a lot of guys one. back there to use our, like, bad guy movement stuff on, so yeah. we'll just kind of focus all that three. back there. One, and two, three. Go through one, and shoot. Two, three. He's going to move. What's his move? Two? Two. Right. One, two. One. One. One, two. Uh... One, two, one, two, one, two. All while making dinner. <laughs> Did you figure out what you're making, Locke? Back just joined the Discord. Awesome, man. Yeah, welcome to the community. All right. That's all the movement. We're still alive. For now. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's, that's all. Alright. Um. Hmm. Well. So now we do. Check for victory. We already did that. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Okay. Alright. We... No effect. No effect. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Some luck. Finally got a little bit there of luck. Go. This well, game looks good. I'm, this game is great, in my opinion. I love it. We shouldn't have said that. We still love the freaking boss. Hey, it's... Yeah, <laughs> well, right. I thought you meant you shouldn't say it's great. I'm like, hey, even if we lose, it's still a great game. Oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, still got to flip we're just, boss. Yeah, we're, we're holding on by the skin of our teeth, but... I but still love this but game, man. This is fun. <laughs> All right. Um... End of round phase. We did our vet cards. Swan, uh, swarm spawn step. Two runners at one. Uh, I wish we had more LCGs here where I live. 
That way I could support local scenes and did have, didn't have to wait so long for deliveries. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, whereabouts do you live? You know, you don't have to give specifics or anything, obviously, but I'm just curious what uh, general region you're in. So that's one. Oh, and they activate immediately, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Gross. Shooters, two of them at... Or three of them at two, sorry. So one. Ooh, that sounded good. <laughs> That made me hungry. Three. What do we got? Uh, just throwing together Indian flavor stir fry using leftover grilled chicken from yesterday. Also made bread using pizza crust and mushrooms and jalapenos to soak up the extra sauce. That sounds amazing. That sounds pretty good. Oh, that's making me hungry. <laughs> Get ready to dig into those Thanksgiving leftovers. All right, but now we got to draw one for the gut slug. Uh, oh, four biters. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're in Puerto Rico. That's cool. So uh, my wife and I actually visited Puerto Rico on our 10-year anniversary, which is so it's been almost 10. No, no, no. It was on our five-year anniversary, so it's been almost I was too young, I wouldn't remember. <laughs> 12 years ago now. <laughs> but Puerto Rico was a beautiful island. I remember seeing pictures from uh, snorkeling and stuff. But... Yeah. Uh, really neat place. I have, a, I have a co-worker who's from uh, Puerto Rico. He moved over here when they were just little kids. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Uh, right, and that was... Oh, so now we have to actually flip over a boss spawn card. Naga. Naga. Place one slime token on an adjacent space following the alien path. So... Gotta play... Got a plate of rice, turkey, and potato salad, and gravy. Yum. Yeah, it, it, I thought that was, I thought it was a really cool island. Um, I wish we would have. We spent most of our time at the at the resort that we stayed at. I wish we would have gotten into San Juan a little bit. Uh, we need Naga, the uh, snake looking the snake lady, and she is gonna go. At there. All just lining up for us, ain't they? <clears throat> Storm was part of the reason we don't have a lot of stores anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No, that's one That's one of my bucket list um, vacation spots, Puerto Rico. We've been to a few uh, Caribbean islands on vacation, but Puerto Rico, I think, was the most relaxing. Like, that was the most chill place that we visited. I'd like to go to Jamaica, too. Alright. We're on to the... Ready for action? I'm still coming in here, because you're going to need to move this way. Yeah, but, I'm going to come in this way I'm, and try and block this side. I'm going to try and, like, get him, but if he doesn't... If I can't kill him quickly, I'm going to have to start moving back. And yeah. Just kind of... I don't know that we're going to be... I don't think we're going to be doing this for very much longer. <laughs> I, I don't think that... I don't know how long we can yeah, we, we can push this back. We need to knock out these guys because that's going to be an immediate loss, but we've only got two more rounds to try and get this, this, and this done. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so it's not looking great. It's still possible let's, with let's, my with my super movement, but it's not likely. <laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna lose, let's lose going out in a blaze of glory. Right. Ready? Yep. Oh, uh, we're off to an amazing start. I can move up there at least. Shooting. Oh my gosh, I got him. <laughs> Sweet. Get out of here. Thanks, 
I need to move two. All right, give me some movement. One, two. One movement. Oh, hey, I can shoot it. Right. Also. I got him. Oh, okay. I need movement. Oh my gosh, I'm actually doing some damage this time. <laughs> uh... Movement. Nope, I missed that time. Oh, but I did get movement, so I can move up back here at least. Nope. Got him. Uh, I'm going to use my movement. I'm going to move back out here. 30 seconds. did some we damage there. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we set up shop and just <laughs> went <Whoa. in> <sighs> Woo Wow. I couldn't even talk that whole time. I was just like, <laughs> Okay. I'm going to rush this way and try and get at least one of these done. I still don't know about... I'd have to get two done next round just for us to even have a chance. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. I don't even... I, I'd have to get one, but I could do both of these from right here. Yeah. Is the thing. So I'd have to get through Man, here, most is, through these guys. This is so hard with just two people. Yeah. Right. I'd, I'd like to play this with with a couple more people. I think it'd be a good one to play it. with, like a yeah, like a four person group, just right? Like a small squad. I agree. All right. I could see Christopher Lane in this one. Uh, Christopher Lane. Yeah. Right. You're safe. I have one shooter shooting at me. And he missed. Okay. Now they're doing movement. So yeah, the combat combat's pretty intense. To would you rather go here or um probably here because then I into can, the corner. Then, well, yeah, but then if I can. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. Different. Range doesn't matter where he's at. Oh, right. I was... uh, he's gonna move one. He's gonna move one, two, three. We got one, two, three, one, no. Uh, one, two, Three. One, two, three. One, <laughs> Gosh. two, three. <laughs> Everyone funnel in. Yeah. On the plus side, that's all of our runners. Right. <laughs> Next group. <laughs> Yeah, once we get rid of the runners, then it won't be as bad, but... I love this, did not know how intense the combat was. Yeah, it's it's super intense. and it, So the game comes with... The game comes with a, like a little digital timer. 
that you can use, but I recommend downloading the app instead because the app has a lot more, like it's got sound effects, it's got music, the tempo of the music increases as time ticks on. So by the end, you're like, Ugh. Yeah, it, it, it really gets your heart pumping sometimes, yeah. Like it was really intense, yeah. <laughs> time to eat with the, with the kids, talk to you later. Locke, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it as always. Um, unfortunately, I'm not near my keyboard, but Locke, if you're still here, why don't you go ahead and throw yourself a shout out in, through the, in the chat there. Selfish Locke, a uh, good friend of mine, he uh, plays a lot of video games. He's been doing some uh, some New World lately. Also does some great uh, artwork on his channel. Uh, so that's always a lot of fun to watch. A lot of good, like fun nerdy artwork. Like he's been he's drawn some Star Wars stuff, some D and D stuff. Go check him out. Give him a follow. Super nice guy. You won't regret it. Oh yeah, did did he finish? Um, has he finished? Um, your D and D characters? Or is he still working on those? I think he's still working on those. I think he has some. Uh, I think he has some some plans for that that, I he's, gotta, to, that he's gotta get to before I haven't been able to catch his streams in a bit so the alarm got got like sheesh I need to run <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly it's time to go <laughs> um, okay so we moved this one so this one's gonna move one two one two one two or we could go one two maybe we should spread them out a little bit more huh maybe one two What's Naga's speed? Th three? Two, three. Three. That's the gut slow. One. Gosh, two. Uh, three. That is disgusting Wait. artwork. Three. I think I'd rather do that and have him move two. One. One, one, two, one, one. Yeah, these all kind of remind me of like Dark Souls one, two, bosses. One, two, one, one, one. Did he move? Uh, no. He must not have. <sighs> okay. Well, we haven't won, but we haven't lost. Cool. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm I'm probably gonna be content even if we lose just by them, the just by us not getting to these in time. I feel like I will feel accomplished enough if I can keep them <laughs> like, from getting Moral here. victory is not no, letting them. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. I, I am okay <laughs> with that because I I don't know how that's gonna happen. <laughs> hey, we got no effect, so that's yeah, nice. that's good. All right, uh, swarm. Oh wait, uh, what was Naga's ability? Place one slime token on an adjacent space following the alien path. Okay, so we need a slime token. following the alien path, so we'll put it here. So that's going to mean that it's going to... I think slime was the one that increases alien movement by one. Sweet. When they move through it. One additional space. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is this game still released? Um, sort of, yeah. So there are a couple of different scenarios that you can play. So we're playing one called Extermination, which basically means we need to get to these different nest, like, nest points. Uh, we need to come to these spots and fill in this spot with matching symbols on these dice. There are other ones that are, like, Recon, which have different symbols that you have to fill in. Essentially, you're kind of doing a very similar thing, but it's it means you're going to use, be using different symbols. Um, 
I think some of the objectives are a little bit different, but this map is also double-sided. So this side is the abandoned lab side or something along yeah, those yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah, the, the, lab. the laboratory side. <clears throat> uh, this one is more like long and narrow, meaning they're going to kind of stream in from a, a much more set direction. The other side is more like we're trying to defend one of these long edges and they're going to be coming from more spaces, which I think we kind of figured with only being two of us, it'd be easier to defend <laughs> <laughs> on a narrow side because it, there's it's more of a choke point. Whereas if we were playing on right, the other side yeah. with with a I feel like wide that way it would one. definitely be, I, I feel like we definitely wouldn't still I don't know how we would have done that. that yeah that would have been pretty tough pretty tough to do I mean we, I, I still oh, don't really uh, got through that and we gotta do this yet so four biters around this guy so one two you know what would be cool is to try and create some like custom maps for these. That would be kind of That'd neat. be cool. But I got to imagine you'd have to pay attention to like the the mathematics of like the arrows and the and the alien movement. That's right? true. Because That's true. You know, like you're gonna have to pay attention to that to, to try and balance it out. Sounds really fun. I I highly recommend it. If you get a chance, give it a try. Um, it's it's really fun. Yeah, this is a it's nice very one. intense. Since like I haven't been I haven't been able to sit down and play a board game in that long. It's nice to be able to sit down and chuck dice and shoot aliens. <laughs> Alright, so now we're doing five shooters at two. Like, I couldn't even imagine coming back from, like, not playing board games for a while and just sitting down and playing a full game of Caverna or something. <laughs> That's five. Just because we have to. Yeah. <laughs> and runners at two, and they activate. This is gonna be horrible. This is gonna be this terrible. Might be, this might be what what ends it for I us. I think. Yeah. Well, I, get, I mean, it's only two, so maybe not. But they're gonna be pushing a lot. Yeah. They're gonna. There's a lot to push so up there. So if we go. He's gonna go up this way. So he's gonna move one. <laughs> this is two. Well, now we can send him this way, though, and go three. That's true. So then we can bring one more out and go... One, two, three, and not push as many. Well, I guess the good the good thing is... <laughs> it's not is, great, but... <laughs> the good thing is the bosses aren't going to be able to get inside and start spawning things inside, because... We're not even gonna have enough time for that to happen, so <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Alright. Boss spawn. <laughs> no. Yes. Three X. Heroes within range 3 suffer 1 damage. Heroes within range 1 suffer 1 additional damage. So that's this big dude right here. That's one so this, that's dude. this guy here. Uh, he's he's kind of nasty. And he is spawning at... 2! <laughs> They're all spawning right They're in the middle. They're all spawning right in the middle. And he, how many does he move? Two. So he activates right away, too. 
All right, action time. Oh, shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Okie dokie, gun. None of these are good. Give me some movement. Oh. Oh, no. Nope. I gotta move one. I am oh, in the so no. many nasty guys. No. Uh. Oh, move up so I can shoot you. Oh, wrong dice. Um, give me some movement. Two. Uh, I'm not doing any damage this round. Got one, finally. Get me done. Oh! <laughs> uh. Oh, nope. oh, I gotta move. Uh. Oh, no. Ten seconds. No. Oh. oh. I was so close. Rolled no. I rolled one. I was able to take one guy out. Really? Rolled no guns the rest of the time until the roll until it was after oh. time ran out, and then I rolled three. <laughs> That's that's frustrating. Yeah. Uh, well, I've been holding them back though. I've been having yeah. some really good luck with my combat. Honestly, I'm surprised with as bad as that swarm was when we started. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that we, we kicked some butt in there. That we uh, that we haven't lost already. Okay, well, I'm going to be taking some damage. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. i got to do five damage to Gut Slug to get rid of him. He's so tough. And he spawns all those people and he like spawns right all there. Those people right there, yeah. Man, and he's just gross looking. Like, yeah, he is very gross very looking. Gross looking. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, uh, alien ability step. Um, let's see, I'm in range of three shooters. <laughs> so take two damage, which locks a die. And I'm in range of three biters. I take two more damage. I'm almost going to lose another die. <sighs> You're safe? Um, yeah, I'm safe. Just got runners around me. <clears throat> got Slug. He's going to spawn three shooters. I don't even know if we have three shooters to spawn. I don't think we have three shooters to spawn. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. Because I haven't been able to kill anybody. <laughs> now what? <laughs> I didn't realize there were so many shooters out. Holy cow. We can spawn one shooter. That's all we can spawn. Um, I guess we'll spawn a couple of biters in, instead. We can put, we can put some... We can put some of the... Uh, 
the color things on the bottom of them to let us know that they're not normal biters. But I mean, this is like the last thing, isn't it? This yeah. Is the last of that. Yeah. This is. So I think it's just time this to. Is, this is the last stand. Run out and take out as much as we can, and and Naga puts uh, another slime token out. Yes. Okay. Now they move. Great. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh no. One, two, three. Uh oh. Oh no. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, one, next batch. Two. <laughs> oh my gosh. One, two. It's even funnier when you see one, it two. up there and you just one, see two. the crowd of all, the, of, all the... of the things. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> then you just got our, our little dudes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one. Yeah, you can go diagonal so you don't take any damage. True. One. Two. Because you've already taken enough damage. If I take any more damage, I'm only rolling two You're dice. You're only rolling two dice. And that's kind of rough. Uh, he can, well, he can go one, two, actually. One, two. He can go one. One, one, one. Oh no. Is there a better way? No, there's not. So he'll have to go one. Maybe we can push him this way though. Because he's got an arrow. There's an arrow there. Yeah. Push yeah, because we do not want to start pushing Gut Slug further up. What's his movement to? Uh, yeah, two. So he's going to go. One. Oh, wow. Two. What's Naga's? Three? Yeah, right. three. And then, uh... <laughs> so intense. If I play this, I think I will... be throwing stuff around and getting... Di <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's actually... Uh, that's... Uh... A lot of times it gets to the point where you're just you. If you kill something, you just you just, chuck, you just like, chuck it off the board because so you're, yeah. you're just one, two. I'd like to see like a mega game of this. Three. Yeah. Like I I could play I could play a cool mega game of this. You don't really have too many one, mega games one. anymore that I've seen. I don't see too many of those at cons and one, stuff anymore. Anyway. Two. One. Two. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Well. One. One, two. Let's move these guys back because we may want. We might want these guys to go first. One, two. Oh, they can't they go that can't way. They can't go that way. Three. We're just gonna move all these guys up. And they have to go this way. And they have to go this way. So and that's. So they. They push their way in. They push their so way in. We just in. lost. Dang it! Ugh. Couldn't even get. Couldn't even get that victory, huh? Kills many heat across the room. Kills another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty that's, much. That's, that's pretty much how this game goes. That's what I've been doing. I'm just throwing it like I feel, <laughs> I feel bad because I'm like hitting your phone and stuff. But I'm like, I'm stupid alien. <laughs> that's a fun game, though. <sighs> 
That's hard. It's intense, and it's really it's tough at two. So we pl- we were pl- and we're playing it on medium. Uh, we probably could have played it on easy, and uh, maybe had a little bit better chance. But still, it's 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 a tough one to beat. Um, so that puts me at three three or uh, one and three against this one game. One three against this game. One win, three losses. But I like that in a co-op. I like a game where, like, if I'm going to play a co-op game, I want it to be tough. I yeah, that's to true. Yeah, because a lot of co-op games don't have enough challenge, and they're just kind of... Yeah. Meh. Um, so, yeah. So that was Project Elite. Now I'm on lunch. <laughs> <laughs> What's for lunch, Legends. Well, you guys died, but it was cool. Yeah, we we died pretty hard. Yeah, we got we got, we got swarmed pretty. Honestly, bad. I'm surprised that we didn't die earlier. To be fair, we were gonna die after the next round anyway, because there was no I mean, yeah, way there was no way we were gonna all finish all of those, those objectives. But, I, mean, but I was so, hoping to at least keep them back from yeah, that. I'm surprised we didn't die earlier. We managed to really none of us clear did, out that space. None of us died. Yeah. Like, I was getting close. You were getting close. I don't think I lost a single point of health. I don't know how that happened. Ooh. You guys did way better than when you and I played? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> lost quick. <laughs> uh, looks really fun, tactical, and challenging, but fun. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. how I would yeah. describe it. Uh, it's, it's cool because there's, like, that real time is very tactical, like... Making decisions on the fly, you gotta just do what you can do. Um, but then you've got that few minutes after, after the craziness of the the real time stuff, and then you know you got That's the alien spawn phase, and then you can say, okay, I see what's coming. What are we gonna do about it? Right. So you can take a few minutes to kind of talk to that, talk that out. Uh, having steak over fried noodles. That sounds delicious. I'd like to put some practice into this game because this is a game that I'd like to, like, beat. Yeah, maybe we may we may end up playing this one again sometime because I I'd <coughs> like to try and uh, I'd like to try and win this one on stream at some point. See how long it takes to for us to beat it on hard mode. Yeah, <laughs> on hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happens to me a lot in solo plays. Don't want the game to be easy all the time. Challenge. Challenges are cool too. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I I wanna I want it to be I want it to be tough. Um, I want it to feel like a real accomplishment when we've won a, right, a tough yeah. co-op. Uh, and this one definitely feels like that. Um, all right. So that's it for us today. Uh, thanks to everybody that stopped by and checked out the channel. Uh, thanks to so very wrong about games. And Circato for the follow. Um, appreciate everybody that, that came by and, and hung out today. Legends, uh, glad to see you here. Uh, Carl, thanks for stopping in. Selfish Lock, thanks for thanks for chilling up until dinner time at least. Uh, I'm gonna go get some dinner myself, uh, and then I'm actually heading out to get my uh, immunization booster this afternoon or this evening. So, okay. gonna go get that done. Um, Let's see, next stream. So, uh, next scheduled stream will be next Tuesday, although I may throw in an additional uh, stream this weekend. So, typically, well, actually, I guess technically this weekend would be my next stream. Uh, so, Possibly Saturday, although more likely Sunday. I think Sunday is going to be my next stream this weekend, uh, just because we've got family got, yeah. uh, Thanksgiving stuff going We're on. We're probably going to be out there for a while. Yep. When Thanksgiving at Grandma Grandpa cases. Right. <laughs> um, so we're going to be heading out there. So probably Sunday will be be next stream, and then Tuesday after that. Um, Let's see. Anything I'm forgetting? I don't think so. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. It was really cool. Hey, yeah, thanks for stopping in. You take care, too. 
Have a great weekend. Uh, and uh, we will see everybody on Sunday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>